They're looking like they have a mini Jaden. Jaden Davis is looking like a mini Tyler, uh, Travis Hunter. Swagged up. Looked like they got the same player. I don't feel like they got a uh, <laughs> eligibility right. issue here. Here, same guy. And Here's here he Sheen. is. Sheen passes right side, and that is a catch. And yeah, there he is again. <laughs> Jaden Davis on the catch. Take a playbook out of Travis Hunter's skill set playing DB and corner and wide receiver. But good, 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 good offensive possession so far for Collins. I love the tempo. They got the defense guessing a little bit in the RPO game. You know, you have a run, run, run play and a throw. Quarterback's got to be able to throw that, but I'm glad he didn't because his point man, his inside guy, didn't get a good block on the outside and the inside receiver right there. Sheen being pressured. Now he runs. He's got the first down, and he's got a little bit more as he goes out of bounds inside the 40. Man, that was just good presence by the quarterback, Mikey Sheen. He saw he was in trouble, but he didn't panic, and all of a sudden he burst. Yeah, he's got he's got some athleticism. He's got some burst going on uh, from the quarterback position. That would give him, give him a little bit of more of a dynamic run game using these quarterback runs but not a design there just a, a player making a play when he needed it so it's gonna be how about this first and one <laughs> you don't see that often first and one yard. except for when it's first and goal but first and one not so much first and one on the 31 <laughs> 608 counting down here in the first quarter to his right is Sheehan. Sheehan passes right flat. That's a catch. And that is going to Quentin Grambo. And Grambo gets another first down, this time to the 16. I, I really, I, I said it early in the drive, but I really like Fort Collins, or Collins Hill's uh, tempo coming out of this game. They're doing a, doing a good job getting in, getting in and getting out of the huddle. They're well coached. They know exactly where they're supposed to be. There's not any miscommunications up front. They're doing a really good job of just uh, anticipating coverages. And they're also getting the ball to a lot of guys. We're down in five. Shakari Thomas in the backfield. Mikey Sheehan calls out the play and passes, and it is incomplete. Intended for Chase Nash and knocked down nicely. Chase Spencer does a great job. This is this is clinic tape. Clinic tape. Um, man-to-man -man coverage there does a really good job of shielding his hand putting his hand on the hip of the the, 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 the wide receiver and plays the ball does a really really good job that is fundamentally sound man-to-man -man coverage there you can see why he's getting offers from Penn State Maryland and Pittsburgh yep, he's a among others physical speed guy has a good job does a good job anticipating stuff but he does a really good job in man coverage which they play a lot of man coverage in the next level Field goal try is coming up, and that is a 27-yarder, and it is up and good. So with 5.23 to play in the first quarter, it is Collins Hill getting the first points of their season. They lead the ball game 3 to nothing over Life Christian Academy 2022 Freedom Bowl on Flow Football. Third down and nine. Shelton. Trying to pass, now he's gonna run on the right side and he is not gonna go far enough for a first down as he gets inside the 30 at around the 28. Again, good containment by Collins Hill as one of the guys there was Luke Thomas. And Life Christian has no answer for the blitz. The one, no. one answer, one backer dog, they're getting five offensive lineman versus five Collins Hill defensive lineman and it's causing is it, some mayhem up front. Is it that they don't have an answer or they don't have the quickness? Because yeah. this Collins Hill team, even though they lost a bunch from last year, they are extremely fast. And they're swarming to the football. That's exactly what it is. They're getting one-on-one -on -one matchups and they're winning their matchups early in this game. Punt opportunity now. C.J. Hector back to receive it, and he's going to try throwing it. And they rule that an incomplete pass, so it's going to go right back at the line of scrimmage, I believe. Wow. Yes, they move the sticks back to the line of scrimmage, an incomplete pass. Wow is right. Actually, they moved the sticks further back, so we're going to see where the officials put the ball. Wow. Collins Hill actually had a late guy, late 
Bloomer on the return team that just dogged. They didn't. They literally didn't even account for him because he was so late. He almost snapped the ball. He almost ran on the field as the ball was snapping, and he's the one that caused the disruption in the backfield. First and ten at the Life Christian Academy, 28 for Collins Hill. Collins Hill feeling it right now as they're back on offense. And back to pass is Sheehan, straight drop. He throws towards the end zone, touchdown! Chase Nash, touchdown Collins Hill. Wow. He threw a dart. What a throw, what a catch. Just speed all over the field here for this Collins Hill team. Now all, all every skill position and what a throw by Sheehan. He does a great job identifying cover four. He just beat him off the line of scrimmage, put a great throw on him with some pace. Wow. Very impressed with this Collins Hill team early in this game. Just can't do those double moves on third down. You're right. in situations where you're in third and extra long. You, if you're going to be successful in the quick game, you got to be successful on your first and second unless you're putting yourself in situations where you're in third and long, and it's just not where Life Christian is built to do. Third and 11. Dangerous here. Get rid of the ball, as you like to say, and he didn't. And he's down at the one. He was almost down for a safety. All I can say, that was close. Yes, it was. And it's going to be marked out. Thank God he fell forward on that one. Yeah, no kidding. Deuce Geralds, only a freshman, came up with that play. And the, and the scary part about being in the back up and you're in your own end zone throwing the football, you know, when you try to escape the pocket, that's when those holds become big because you're not in that in that comfort zone of the offensive line you're not in that pocket you roll out and now they they're forced to hold and it's blocked in the end zone and it is going to be out of the end zone so that will be a safety so actually a lucky break wow three block punts and a half yikes Braylon Harstorfin on the block. Three for three. Three yeah. blocks, three punts, same guy. Wow. 8.57 to go here in the second, and it is 12 to nothing. And, oh, by the way, Collins Hill gets the ball back. They look like last year's team, the way they're playing, especially on defense. The defense looks even more ready than the offense, and their offense has been very good. Yeah, Scott, you, you, you can't even, that's like a a sin to say the word rebuild in the state of Georgia football. You got you cannot that is rebuild. True. You I have know. to recharge and and have your players ready to play when they're when the bell is called. Returnable kick obviously is it's returned by Hector and Hector a good move. Hold on to that ball. Hold on to the ball. It looked like they knocked it loose and do they have it? Yes, sir. Life Christian saying they have it. What does the referee say? He did it twice. He made two moves. That ball had bad ball security. Tried to go over the top of the defender. And I was thinking in my head, oh, no. Life uh, Christian apparently does over. have it. Wow. They just stole an extra possession. Very effective as well, obviously. Second down and eight, pass on the right side. They finally get it to the outside, and this is Jibaron Lawrence. Lawrence keeps on running. We'll see where they mark him. And that's what these negative plays are doing for Life Christian right now, just in some mental mistakes. I thought it was a good read. My Sheldon did a good job of you know, put, keeping his eyes down the field, not there, felt the defense uh, getting depth, checks it down to his running back, got to make that catch, make a guy miss in, in open field, try to get a first down. Quarterback rushed, quarterback in trouble, quarterback down. Well, that was easy. Shelton just ran out of room and just had one, two, three, four green shirts literally converge on him. What do you like to say, Brandon? Get rid of the ball? Outside the packet, young quarterbacks. <laughs> you got three green in front of you. Just toss that thing away and save yourself seven yards. Right now, they can't punt the ball, so... Uh, would have been an obvious fourth and go. 
But now they're going to have to make a decision if they want to mm. put their punter back on the field. They're going to go for it. Looks like they're going to go for it again on fourth and 20. Sheehan gets by the rush, gets to the outside. He's going to keep on going. He's at the 20 and tumbled over. A flag is thrown as well, but Javon Branch on the trip up. 4.02 to go in the first half of play. Second quarter action. The clock restarted. Pennington goes in motion to the left. Sheehan rolls out to his right. He's looking. He's got a man downfield. He's got a touchdown. Caught by Jaden Davis. Touchdown, Collins Hill. The speed of Collins Hill, Scott, is just, just outplaying and out, outmatching Life Christian's depth right now. Great job just on the scramble drill. Sheehan does a good job of avoiding getting out of the pocket, finding this guy. And those scramble drills, short guys go long, long guys go short. That's, that's what you're coached to do, well-coached team on the scramble drill, resulting in a touchdown. Yeah, resulted in a touchdown indeed as Davis got by his defender and Jaden Davis with the score. Do the swinging gate, they're gonna run the play. Here's Sheehan throwing end zone, and that is a two-point conversion. What a catch on the run by number 21, Deion Crawford. So he gets in the offensive book. Great catch, and a great throw. He misses that one yard behind him. That's one for six the other way, but he throws an accurate ball and puts it on the dime. What a throw. So the score, 20 to nothing in favor of Collins Hill over Life Christian Academy. 3.45 to go in a half. Freedom Bowl for Milton George on Flow Football.